my gosh. Gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm reacting to some trailers a day late. And I'm about to explain it right here. That was... That, that was something. But, uh, yeah. Yesterday, still sick. Uh, Mom didn't want me to film some videos. So, couldn't film some videos. But we did get two new trailers come out. They were Those Who Wish Me Dead and Cruella. I did film the reaction, or not the reaction part. I did screen record the trailer part. And now I'm going to react to it. Because I already have seen the trailers. But I'm going to react to it. Here's the trailer, and then here is my thoughts. Alright, Those Who Wish Me Dead. This is a movie I've never heard anything about. My friend Brandon was like, Oh my gosh, this is my second most anticipated movie of the year. And I'm like, Dude, the heck is this movie even about? I don't even know what this movie is. And I was expecting something else. I was expecting this to be like an Overlord type movie. Never seen Overlord, but it's like Nazi zombies <laughs> or some crap. It sounds so ridiculous, but I was expecting this to be like this because he seems to like those type of films. And no, it's like this action movie. It's certainly a premise you have seen before, but who knows? Some movies do the premise the better way. It came out this year in the form of The Marksman, I believe. Him saving this guy, his kid, who's under attack from a bunch of terrorists or whatnot. I've never seen that movie. I will when it comes out, though. But it, there's just several movies with the same type of premise. So I'm like, how could he be so excited for the movie? But this one has a twist. There's this fire going on. And this fire looks... The fire looks... The fire look... The fire part looks interesting. An interesting spin. But I'm kind of nervous. I'm claustrophobic a little bit. Like, I told you. Here, watch this. Sometimes if I'm sitting in like a a rough position. Let me fix my camera. Sometimes if I'm sitting in, like, a position that's cramped, or even if I think about it, look, you see my legs? My legs will go, my legs will just flail all around. 
spazzing out again. You guys love when I spazz out, don't you? But anywho, my legs just start flailing around, and it's just a little claustrophobic, so I'm a bit nervous to watch people go in, like, this fire and stuff. But it does look interesting. I think it'll be, I think it'll be pretty good. Pretty good little premise. It seems like this is a type of trailer where it shows how it gets set up, and then one scene from the climax. There are several trailers that do that, where there's just one scene in the climax, one scene shown from the climax, which is a fire, and then literally nothing else. Nothing else happens in the trailer besides the setup. And I enjoy those trailers, because most of the time I'm surprised, but it also shows, feels like it showed a little too much, and that's is how I feel with this one. It does feel like the trailer has shown a little too much. But who knows? This is a movie I've heard nothing about. It has Angelina Jolie in it. <laughs> Didn't even know she was in it. And I saw her and I'm like, instantly, that's cool. Cool. She's in a lot of movies. I can't really name one right now. What is she in? Wasn't she in A Simple Favor? Everyone loves A Simple Favor. All right, to be clear, I've never seen A Simple Favor, but uh, it's got a, like, what? Negative score on Rotten Tomatoes? I'm going to go check. The movie has Anna Kendrick in it. Doesn't even have Angelina Jolie. And it's got an 84 <laughs> 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 Oh no. I'm such an idiot. I feel like I'm such an idiot. Oh my gosh. Uh, what movies are Angelina? <laughs> I don't even know how much of this I'm going to cut out. Oh, that was... That was... <laughs> she was Maleficent and Laura Croft Tomb Later. That's Angelina Jolie. That's who I was thinking about. I don't know where in the heavens I got a simple favor from, and I don't even... That was so stupid. I am so sorry. But yeah, she's in the movie, and it just has an intriguing premise. People hunting this kid, and all this person's getting it in this fire. I don't really have that much to say. This video's probably gone way longer because of my, like, two-minute laughing session. Um... This was a, this was probably the stupidest I felt in a while. But anyways, that was just my opinions on the trailer. I don't really have much to say. It's going to be intriguing. Get, I'm going to check this out on HBO Max. But if I had HBO Max, I'd probably just wait to rent it and not go to theaters to see it. That's just my take. I'm not really sure what I will think of the movie. It might be intriguing. But anyways, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, and comment down below. What did you think of the Those Who Wish Me Dead trailer? I think it's going to be fine. But I don't think it'll be anything special. I don't know why my friend was anticipating it so much. But that was just my thoughts. I'm going to go react to the Corella trailer. Did already screen record that. So I'm just going to like film my thoughts on it. But yeah. Th this was welcome to my crazy video. I feel kind of embarrassed. <laughs> I'm just not feeling. I'm just not feeling in the right mind today. I'm sorry, guys. I'm feeling a little loony. Still not fully healed. Um, but yeah, this was just my trailer opinions. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, and comment down below. What did you think of the trailer for those who wish me dead? And with that said, always make sure to subscribe to Join the Nerd Army.